I'm going to be completely honest and just tell you guys that I've been putting off making this video for probably about two weeks now. And there's several reasons why I haven't made it, but I'm finally getting to it. And I'm going to tell you guys why you shouldn't buy cheap parts. So first things first, I know everybody's been wondering why I haven't been making videos. And I know there's a ton of excuses I could throw out there. I'm actually going to give you a couple because why not, right? So I basically have the standard excuses like I've been super busy with school, uh, I've been working a lot, and I just really haven't had motivation to make any videos. But I'm finally making this video for you guys because I feel like I owe it to you for all the support you guys have been showing to the channel and everything like that. This video is not a very happy video, but let me get into that. So sitting behind me are my spacers. and. You guys might be wondering why they're not on the car, and I'm gonna tell you why. So let me find, this is the worst one. Okay, so I have this set up so you guys can see what is wrong with these spacers, and if you can't see right here, it's not focused in very well, but right there, you can kind of see a shiny part in the threads of the spacer. This may or may not be correct, but what I think happened was my lug nut, the metal from the lug nut, melted into the threads of these spacers, and when I was taking off the lug nuts, it kind of just pulled the metal out from the lug nut and left it inside the threads. This is the worst spacer, like it happened on two of them for like three threads. So that one's definitely trashed. And this one right here also had a little bit in there. So there's one in that one. And on another side note, these are kind of rusting out. These are eBay spacers and I probably wouldn't recommend buying these either because these are classified as cheap parts. You can see on almost all of the spacers there is at least a little bit of rust and these are definitely going to have to be replaced anyways. This one's really bad in the hub centric ring area. Kind of really grimy in there. So as you can see those spaces are pretty trashed and I definitely had to order new ones. But this time I actually ordered some better quality ones. They were a little bit more expensive. I paid $125 for all four of those. The new ones are $240. They're hub centric to the hub, hub centric to the wheel, and they're just better quality all around. I'm also going to go get the lug nuts and show you what happened to those as well because that kind of tells the story also. This is also all a mess. I need to really get a tool bench and tool chest that I can put all this stuff in. So here's all the lug nuts and as you can see I just dropped them because they are already trashed and I do not care about them and they piss me off even looking at them. And I think this is one of the worst ones. This one's really bad as well. And I don't know. There's a lot of these that are really messed up on the inside. I don't know how well I'll be able to show you this on this lens. I might have to go get into one of my other lenses. But if you look down into the lug nut, you can tell that it is really stripped out. And you can even see a piece of metal hanging off there from the edge. So that's just one of the lug nuts. You can also see that the outside is really messed up from trying to get it off because these were hard to get off when it was stripping out the metal inside. And these are aluminum lug nuts, so they're really lightweight. And I like that about them, but I'm never going to buy these again. So here's the inside of one of the worst lug nuts, and I know it's kind of hard to see. I'm kind of auto-focusing it in and out, and you can tell that it's really chewn up in there. And yeah, that's kind of the best representation I can give you guys with the close-up lens. So just kind of focusing down so you guys can see it. But yeah, that's how messed up that lug nut is. So obviously this is a huge learning experience for me and even the viewers that watch my channel, you guys. The biggest thing that I gathered from this was to never cheap out on any parts for your car. Something as simple as lug nuts could cause you to get into a crash or even worse, get injured or even die. From now on I'm going to be buying quality parts and I already started off with ordering the new spacers that are way better than the old ones. I don't know what I'm going to do for the lug nut situation for now. Might just go to AutoZone and get some steel lug nuts, but I'm definitely never buying aluminum lug nuts ever again. And just so you guys know, I paid $45 for those aluminum lug nuts. The brand is Blocks. It's kind of upside down. So, Blocks lug nuts. I honestly I can't recommend them. They look really nice, but I just don't think the quality stands up to what they look like. I think I'm going to try to find some decent looking lug nuts that are good quality and call it a day. If you guys are running spacer adapters on your car, make sure to check them every once in a while. These are really rusty and I only had the wheels on there for a couple months, so I'm definitely going to have to do something else with the new spacers to keep them from rusting. Probably going to use anti-seize on the threads also so the lug nuts don't 
come off really easy. I know a lot of people say to not do that, but I've, I've seen a plenty of people do it and they've had no issues. So I think that's pretty much all I have for this video, guys. If you have any input, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it's been a while since I made a video, but I think I'm going to finally get back into the swing of things. I've been waiting about two weeks for these spacers to get here. Once I get the new spacers in, I'll definitely be making a video of me putting the wheels back on the car. But other than that, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more videos like this one. Learn from my experiences, learn from my mistakes, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.